guys, and welcome back to another video of Farm with Cars. Let's get into it today. Here we are taking our beautiful feed truck back to the farm this morning. Uh, good old international uh, three bay, uh, three bay hopper back there with cross augers underneath and a load out tube up there in the front so we can load out feed for our calves. So we're just taking this back. We got some wheat mids we hauled in. I'm going to use that for cattle feed, so we're going to load that some of those wheat mids on this truck and then probably do a little bit of servicing on this truck also. Uh, just a good old international truck. Wheat, uh, wheat mids on a hopper bottom trailer. So we're going to use our conveyor, slide under the hopper bottom, and feed it right into the feed truck. Alrighty, here's our setup. We got the feed truck, the conveyor, and we got the smallest tractor we've got uh, on the conveyor and the conveyor. I think this tractor will probably do the job. Uh, not sure, but I'm going to say it probably will. Uh, Andy's going to bring the semi around now, and we'll get to loading these wheat mids up and then we'll just we'll be on our way yeah here it goes Hey, slow it, slow it down just a little bit. Slow it down a little. Come on, Andy, give it. Huh? thing whipping. Right into the truck. Not too much left to load out. Front hopper's full, fill in the back now. No. All right guys, here's the deal, what we're working on now. We have got a few thousand bushel of soybeans left to haul out. We're hoping only two loads. Maybe we can get two full loads of soybeans out. That'll be the end of the 2019 soybean crop. Uh, and that'll be awesome. So that's what we're working at right now. We're loading the first truck. Uh, gonna have to get in and sweep soon. But we're hoping we can fit it all on two trucks versus having to take two and then just a piece. But hopefully we can fit it all on two, stuff it in there uh, without being overweight, of course. Uh, but that's the plan right now. Uh, we're loading out of our small bin. It's only a 6,000 bushel bin and it's got a 6 inch unload tube. So it unloads kind of slow. Uh, definitely the slowest unloading bin we've got here at the farm. Uh, but that's alright. Hopefully only two loads. We'll get her out, get her filled up, get the trucks ready to roll for the morning. Uh, and then in the morning we'll take them over to Cargill. Uh, dump them and then just get ready for the new crop 2020. Like I say every time, harvest is approaching fast and faster. Uh, soybeans are starting to turn, uh, corn's not drying down yet, got it in a little bit late, had some, you guys know we had some issues earlier this spring, uh, but we're ready for harvest, it's going to be here soon, combines are, we got a little bit of learning to do on the combines yet, but we'll get there, uh, but we're loading soybeans, let's get the last of this crop moved out. I'm up on the dryer now, watching the truck load. Uh, you can see her back there. Everybody loves a good time lapse. So let's set you guys up on a time lapse while we load. Load these couple of trucks. Hopefully it's only two. If it's going to be three, it's going to be 
waste of trip to town as far as trucking wise goes, but gotta get them out. So let's do it. Set you up on time lapse. <laughs> Beans 2019 crop, so that's awesome. Well, as you saw, we couldn't quite get it into two trucks, <sighs> couldn't quite get it into two trucks. Had to use three. That third load's got maybe 75 bushel on it. Not worth the trip to town, but we got to get them to town, get them sold uh, to empty our bins for the new crop for next year or this year, I guess. So nonetheless, trucks are loaded and ready to go to town tomorrow. That bin is all swept out and we're ready to rock and roll. Morning everybody. Uh, it's the next day. I uh, got the triplets over here. I'm going to go ahead and start them up. Uh, three Kenworth T800s that we're going to haul some beans with this morning. Uh, two are going to Cargill and Lafayette and then just one's just going here to a local elevator. Uh, that's close since it's only got about uh, maybe 50 bushel on it something less than 100 bushel on it so we're going to go ahead and get these old girls fired up this morning and then get ourselves composed gathered around and we'll head to Lafayette got them fired up these girls are ready to head to town. Here we go, off to Cargill. Let's make it a quick one. And we've made it to Cargill, only two trucks in front of us before the probe. Not bad, I can live with that all day long. That's a lot better than being here for several hours on this lovely Friday morning. So we'll just get out, roll the tarp, and then we'll just wait for everybody to get out of our way. Just pulled under the probe shack. Uh, we just got probed. Uh, now we're just waiting on the green light there on the screen. And then we'll pull up behind that truck and then onto the scale. And not a bad load to the day. 90,820. I'll take it. I'll take it. One more truck in front of us dumping. And then it's go time. We just dumped. Now we're just pulling up to get our ticket. Now we're just weighing out. I'm gonna grab our ticket here and we'll be on the road. Awesome. Back on the road again. Well, let's get back to the farm. Well, we made it back to the farm and that is it for the 2019 crop. We're all empty now. They got all of our bins empty. Uh, so that's great. So we're done for the year. Time to load up new crop uh, here in a couple weeks, hopefully. Hopefully some soybeans really get mature they're changing they're turning yellow uh, the corn's still plenty wet uh, it won't be ready anytime soon uh, but our soybeans are changing so hopefully they're gonna keep changing if we could get some heat here that would help dry them down but we just we've been having gloomy wet days uh, misty foggy uh, the last three or four mornings so that's we're not getting any drying weather here we got some drilling to do it's not helping with the weather uh, but anyways we're done hauling old crop for this year uh, but I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on on the farm right now. Uh, just odds and ends, maintenance things. Uh, we're not going to do a whole lot today yet. Uh, work on doing some maintenance on the grain bin site. 
So that's what's scheduled for the rest of the day. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching, like I said, and we'll see you on the next one.